Hello, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks workshop. Got a Gilcrest mandolin here in the shop today and uh, minor repair, just working on a little pick guard action. We'll show you what we've got. Okay. It's the, uh, I've already started the repair. I'm gluing this block back to the pick guard itself. This had come unglued right here. And uh, anyway, I. Uh, use some two-way tape uh, first in between there just to precisely locate it make sure it was going to be in the right place and I marked it and then I glued this down with some acetate glue so that it will melt those two pieces back together and I'm going to let that set there for a while <clears throat> this did have <coughs> the old traditional Gibson type connection to the pick guard like this the uh, You've seen these on the side of the mandolins before, and uh, the uh, customer wants me to change it out to a permanent uh, mount, so we're going to be putting this mount on here and screwing it in, and then uh, that will uh, be a little more permanent. These, these here tend to uh, come loose all the time, and then they scratch the side of the mandolin, and this has already been scratched a little bit, and it's got some wear marks here, so this will keep it from doing any further damage by putting this permanent deal on here so anyway that's what we're going to do we'll, uh, it's not a very big job but I thought you might like to take a look at a Gilcrest mandolin there's a real pretty mandolin there's the Gilcrest peg head kind of shiny in the light there all black accoutrements and we've got the Gilchrist mandolin all set back up here the uh, basically what we did was put in a new bracket right here and um, you can see here that we mounted this little side bracket on to attach to the pick guard is what we did and the, the piece was broke loose from underneath the pick guard here too so we had to glue that back first and set it up and, and put this all back on there and it turned out pretty good. I'll tell you what, it was not as easy as it should have been. Everything that could kind of did go wrong. For instance, the, there's a little nut on the inside here, and that nut was stripped. So it didn't hold anything. So anyway, I basically just let it spin all the way up to where, it, where there's no threads, which is where it needed to go anyway. Then I just more or less touched it with super glue so it just wouldn't move. Then I had to also route out the back of this plastic so that it could go over that nut because there wasn't any further. I had to go this way further. It's hard to explain, but anyway, everything that could did. And we finally got her though, and she's solid, so I don't think she's going anywhere. Thought maybe you might want to hear what a Gilchrist mandolin sounds like. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and click the thumbs up button. Thank you.